So let's take a look at one of them first. With salt, you can all make a task pretty easy and there's some pretty simple steps you can do. Before you get started, you're going to want to get notes. Node.js is a platform just like .NET or Java. When it gets run, our application is on it. Node is free. You can get it off of Node.js or run on Mac, Linux, Windows, run on the refrigerator software these days, everywhere. And then you install Gulf Global. The way you install that is you use NPS command for Node, Node package manager. You say install dash g globally. You put in my task page so everybody might be able to use it. And the name of the package is Gulf. And now we've got Gulf. You can do this in a matter of about three minutes. So what is Gulf in a nutshell? Gulf first can allow you to install Gulf globally. You just did that. You can create package files. Gulf works where you basically pull in other tasks. Task runner, so implicitly that means you're going to have that task to run. Minify my file. Take all my images and compress them. You've got a half meg image that you're downloading on some web page and you want to compress that for your production. You can do that with the task. The package file can point to all the packages you can actually run. It's just a manifest. And then we're going to install those packages. And then we'll code our Gulf file. The Gulf file is the list of tasks that we want to run. That's our actual code. It's a single file. And then finally, we'll load a new task in the Gulf that we want to run. So we'll want to compress images and load that compression map. The first step is to create that package file. It's going to prompt you when you run this command, npm init, inside the folder where your project is. Say, okay, you want to create a package file. First time in the future, it's called package.json. It's going to prompt you for your name and the package name, any other information you want to add to this. And then, you're going to want to add Gulp locally to the file. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull in Gulp. NPM install Gulp says, okay, install Gulp, and by using this save dev option, it's actually going to add it to the package. <clears throat> now, you might have guessed it with save dev, you have other options too. You have save dev for development.